What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you. Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was. Until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh... Hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard. 
Uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu, the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Bye, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower, but now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you Give that it. back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. <laughs> Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. What are you looking at? Well, hmm. 
have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Burnt Forest Mystery. Okay, Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martique on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old Cedar, raise your voice. Martique, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to cure is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cuba, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. 
No, children, I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> Not far now. It's magic. Hooray! 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 <laughs> what do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leap. Take that and, and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it. <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martik. Martik, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martik, be careful. <laughs> Flying on a wing, I 
magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> A miracle! <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Again, I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look, Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable! Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <laughs> back! Back, I say! Oh, back! Ah, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal, a black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In the dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. 
<laughs> so it means Cuba is going to be. <laughs> Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. Tig, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! What of their last years? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Don't be scared, Cuba. We got you. We won't let anything bad happen to you. Look, Cuba. The sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tig. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Wait, wait, wait! Cuba! 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 Cuba, wait! Cuba! Cuba, wait! <laughs> Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, Cuba stop! curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. 
Oh, oh, kids, with your good intentions, you trample the path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! <laughs> Off with the feathered ones. about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Uh, who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your person's here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing a song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Oh, 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 oh stop it. Cut <laughs> it out right now. Stop leaving. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <sighs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan.
Tig and Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mapa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the Martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Great, Great spirit, spirit of 
sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing now, love, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need you here. Just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Goodbye, Theodore. with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking, but I still have nothing. I've got a question, but I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, oh, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there, at the Blue Hills, is where we meet. Whoa, it's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. I've got one! Mappa Pandiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo! <laughs> wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds, didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys.
think of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? Ah! <clears throat> oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> Woo! But this is so high. Leo, I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig, stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? <laughs> uh, uh, Good job, Tig! Jump now! Get me out of here, Leo! Hold on! Hold on tight! Tig! Tig! I'm coming! Grab my paw! What was that, Tig? He just got caught on a thorn. So he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. Theodore, you're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. Where are all the storks? 
eggs. Are they already gone? Oh, we didn't make it. Quick! Here! <laughs> you don't have to believe it. But I do have wonderful friends. We made it! <laughs> we found your feather. You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh, no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. The most precious thing. Tig, are you still sleeping? Come out here. Boom. Who's sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, uh, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there! Hey, wait! That's not fair! You have to say, on your mark, and ready! Set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Because, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week, uh, twice. Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in, the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, please, Help me, show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. 
and suddenly he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Teed! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig, we completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! 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 The competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark, and get set, go! If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> I think it's coming from there. From the wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Help me, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Take him! Hurry up! Please! Uh, Leo! Please! Help I can't please. go any further! Uh, I need to take a break! No time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Tink. winner! Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! Find him no matter what. Why am 
I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mommy! Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig is so Tig, great. we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it! That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! And I told everyone the truth! That you're the real winner! I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig! Forget about that! It's all good! Get us out of here already! Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... <laughs> Train harder! <laughs> Eagle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Tig, you beat me. Come on, get off. You're really squishing my tail. Yay! Woohoo! Tig is the winner. Tig is the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, King, King of, of the, the Tiger. tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, children. Leo and I are just playing. <laughs> playing what? King of the Tiger. Tig's the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Amur Tiger once earned the right to be called the King of the Tiger. Just like the white shouldered eagle is the King of the Sky. The King of the Sky? I've never really heard of him. Tell us the story, Mappa Pandiga. Pretty, pretty, please. <sighs> it was a long time ago. There was no order among the bird folk. The strong would wrong the weak, and no one was there to stand up for them. Then, the birds got together and decided to choose themselves a king who would be kind, strong, and fair. The choice fell on the eagle. But the jealous vulture cried out, he needs to prove that he's the strongest. Let's have a competition. He who's the first to get to the top of a high mountain at sunrise will become the king. And so it was set. But at night, the vulture stole the eagle's wings, put them on, and flew to the summit. But when the sun came up, it scorched the sneaky vulture and made him turn black. And the eagle received a pair of new wings from the sun. Thus he became white-shouldered. And that's how they've been ever since. The white-shouldered eagle, the king of the sky, and the black vulture who was left to feed on nothing but carrion. Mappa Pandiga, so where did those old eagle wings go? I don't know. Probably still somewhere on the Eagle Mountain. All right, kids, that's enough for today. I've got things to do. <laughs> Tig, do you want to go for a walk? Walk where? Well, nowhere special, really. Just wander around a bit. I'm pretty good right here. Leo, what are you up to? Come on, King of the Tiger! <sighs> Just a little more! Yeah, so what? 
It's nothing special. Of all the places to wander, you want to come here? What's the big deal? No big deal. But there are no wings lying around in other places. What are you saying? Come on, Tig. We're climbing the Eagle Mountain. Are you insane? It's the highest, most dangerous mountain, period. Oh, yeah. Tig! Oh, boy, they're about to fall. Uh, I must call everyone for help. Uh. Grandpa, I'm gonna do a run-up and soar into the air. Oh, it's such a pity that you won't be able to see it. A run? Jump! <laughs> that one doesn't count. This time I'm definitely gonna fly. <laughs> of course you're gonna fly. You're an eagle. It's just that, well, you're not ready yet. But I feel like I'm ready. A run? A jump? Elder Eagle, we've just seen a leopard and a tiger on the mountain, climbing to the top. Whoa, awesome! I wonder what they're doing here. We'll find out soon enough. Leo, why do we even need wings? They're not that great. Think about it. Once you get yourself some wings, you can become not just the king, Tiger, <sighs> but of the sky too. Why should I care about the sky? I'm perfectly fine with a tiger. Uh, push it closer to the rock. Leo, you're kicking up too many rocks. It's not me. It's a stone ball. Yeah, otherwise we'd be crushed by those stones. Tell me this. What business has brought Wingless to our mountain? We... we just wanted to find ourselves some wings so that Tig could become a real king of the sky. <laughs> king of the sky? Having wings is not enough for that. Uh, I've got wings right here. When do I become the king? It's the vultures! How dare they show up at our beautiful mountains! Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of them. <laughs> you better leave this place now and hurry. Well, old man. Long time no see, as they say. <gasps> Grandpa, that's the black vulture! Ah. It's you. I've thrown you out of these mountains more than once before. <laughs> yes, but this time your guardians are far away. And you've become a feeble, lame, and blind old geezer. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Let the young one go. No, I will not. Say goodbye to your little hatchling. No, Grandpa! Stay here. I'll be right back. Leo, go. wait. Hey, you. Let him go ah. right now. And who's this little nuisance? Grab him. <laughs> no, Leo. No, 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 no. Goodbye, Grandpa. old man. Grandpa Eagle, we need to save them. My wings are still very strong and powerful. But I'm blind. I know. I can be your eyes and I'll guide you. You, who were born without wings, are not scared of flying? Oh, I'm really scared, but we can't abandon them. Let's go! To the left. To the right. A bit more. Aha! We've almost caught up with them. He slipped into a ravine. Ah, uh, the passage is too narrow. I spent my entire life among these incredible mountains. 
I know every blessed rock here. Initiate the countdown. Three, two, one, and go! Whoa, yeah! That was awesome! We've caught up with them! You wretched old man! I underestimated you! But you won't <gasps> get them! The back. vultures dropped them! saying that they were climbing on the Eagle Mountain? Oh, I really shouldn't have told Leo and Tig that Eagle legend. Oh, dear. Look, there! What's that way up above? That's Leo! <gasps> and Tig! They're flying! Grandpa, this way! <laughs> Land now! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no. I should thank you, brave-hearted tiger. You are a king indeed. A king? Who? Tig? Come visit us when you can. We'll always be glad to see you. For sure. We'll fly you around. Grandpa, follow me. Let's go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Flying? Well, uh, thanks, but <laughs> that's okay. I think I'll Well, pass. then, King, you want to play tag? You're it! Forget about it, Mila. I'm no king. Ha! Whoa, Reels whoa, it! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not those who are strong and cunning who inspire tales, but those who are brave and kind. That's it, good job, keep going, keep going, keep going, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hoot, hoot. What kind of a bird are you? <laughs> Spike, what can I do? This thing still won't take flight. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> These wings don't work. We need new ones. New ones? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? I think <laughs> we found ourselves some new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. The rudder ready? It's all set. Where's the lookout? Right here. Perfect. Dick Hand, are the supplies ready? Oh no, guys! We haven't got any supplies left. Kuba ate it. That's okay. We'll get some more. Ah! <laughs> I could really go for a delicious little rabbit. <laughs> Or maybe a little mouse. <laughs> Remember, we have some supplies back there. But we can't go alone, or the vulture will catch us. <laughs> Tig! Lily doesn't know anything about our forest. You know she could get into real trouble. Hey, nothing's gonna happen to her. We'll all be together. When it comes to the taiga, I'm an expert. I know every blade of grass. I know every bush. Uh, I, I fell on purpose, you know, to show you one has to be careful. Also, watch out for the pine tree roots. They might trip you up. Look. <laughs> you know, around here, 
I'm basically a king. The others call me Tiger, King of the Taiga. But be careful under the cedar trees. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this part before. Take I'm not used to so it. Funny. I usually take a different route. I could go for a tadpole or maybe, maybe a little mouse. Huh? Now that looks like lunch. Hey, don't you worry. You don't have to be afraid when you're with me, okay? Lily? Hey, do don't eat that. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lily? Me. Lily? Oh. No chance! Oh, my lunch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, ow! Yeah! Ooh! Uh, uh, I'm Rick Rog. Oh my, hi. you're really fluffy. Can I pet uh, you? Hey, keep your hooves off of me. <laughs> All right then. You want some grass? Why aren't you eating? It's juicy. All right then, not hungry. What are you doing here anyway? Do you need some help? I've never seen cats around here before. I'm not a cat. I mean, does Vulture live up here? He's over there. Over where? You're sure that you don't want any grass? Try it. It's delicious. Uh, thanks. How about I take some with me for the road? I'm in a hurry. Lily is in big danger. <laughs> it's time for a delicious feast. It's my lucky day. I'm not lunch. I'm Lily. Hey, you mean you're still complaining? Ah, well then, I guess that today's lunch menu Includes something quite exotic. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call my friend. Sit here and be quiet. I said be quiet! <laughs> Goodness. I didn't know goats could climb so easily. Only mountain goats. There's a whole legend about it. I'll tell you the tale, my striped fluffy friend. It goes like this. It was a long time ago. We mountain goats used to live in the forest. We had a fearless leader with great big horns, almost like mine. One day we gathered in the meadow to celebrate the birthday of our fearless leader. We were busy celebrating when all of a sudden a forest fire began. The leader's advisor warned him about the fire, but he didn't want to end the celebration. He had hoped that the fire would burn on the other side, but no one tells a fire where a fire should burn. The flames surrounded the goats on all sides, but what could the goats do? There was only one way out, up the mountain in the middle of the forest. However, the goats couldn't climb it. The leader turned toward the mountain. He started to complain about the dry trees. After all, they're to blame for what happened. If they weren't so dry, then they wouldn't have caught on fire. So he asked for help, but the mountain didn't respond. So the leader thought, who else is to blame? Aha, the leader said, it's the wind who's to blame for the fire. It blew the flames toward us, but the mountain didn't respond. The fire was getting closer and closer. They could feel it getting hotter. Then the leader finally said, I know, okay, I'm the one to blame for everything, you know? I really wanted to hear the goats celebrating me and so I didn't tell them about the fire. Help me to help my herd, please, he said. And if you want, I'll even stay right here. And then the mountain helped the goats climb up. It gave us the ability to climb any mountain and we were all led to safety. We haven't left the mountain ever since. <laughs> hey, you want some grass? Do you need some help? Hold on tight, kitty cat. I'm not a cat. Whoa. Uh, ooh, whoa. Uh. Oh. Here, this is the final stop. 
You're on your own now. Huh? some grass why would we want grass uh, we are having ourselves uh, an exotic lunch so get lost are you sure you don't want any grass no we don't well then you can taste this birds i really wanted to have an exotic lunch <laughs> Let's get out of here! You haven't heard the last of us! <sighs> Thank you, Rickrog. <laughs> no worries, my striped fluffy friend. Tig, I'm sorry that I... that we... Lily, I wasn't watching. I let you down. I'm sorry, too. Will you forgive me? <laughs> Anybody want some grass? Try it. It's delicious. Where were you guys? And why didn't you get any supplies? Uh, um... It was all my fault. Well, to be honest, I... Uh... Anyone want some grass? What are we, goats? Chewing on grass? <laughs> Don't worry. We got a lot of supplies. Let's go. <laughs> to the ship! To the ship! <laughs> so tell me, are there really a lot of mice, Spike? A lot of mice? There's gonna be mountains of mice! Yeah! For real! Mountains! Hoot, hoot. Uh, uh, are there are there lots of fish? It'll be overflowing with fish! Hoot, hoot, hoot! Hoot, hoot, hoot! Here we hoot. go! This spot of strength won't get away with it this time. The monkeys are finally gonna be ours. <laughs> 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 